So let me get this straight. We're gonna plug a Rode NTG3 XL air jack into the phone. I... A while ago, I did a review on a Saramonic wireless system. It was like 89 bucks and I compared it to a Rode wireless system. It's a pretty good system. It's not everything the Rode is, but if you're on a budget, what the heck? Well, I was messing around on Saramonic's website and I saw this little thing like this called a smart rig. And I thought, well, what the hell is that? And I looked and apparently you can take your XLR jack and plug it into here. And then you can take the other end and you can plug it in your phone now and then you turn it on and away you go. I thought well that's kind of cool because if I have my Rode NTG3 or my NTG2 or I have my whatever microphone or my, my Sennheiser, I did that on purpose for someone, uh, microphones, whatever I have and it's got XLR cables on the end and let's say your recorder goes out or let's say something bad happens or let's say you just don't want to buy us three or four hundred dollar or zoom recorder or whatever, you just want to record on your phone, you can just hook it up this way. And I didn't believe it, so I went and got one of these things and I wanted to see could I actually record sound through a six or seven hundred dollar mic into an XLR jack through this little twenty nine dollar thing, could I actually record onto my phone um, and would it actually work out? So let's take a look at this. So I recently uh, went out and said, you know, really I can hook a microphone in here? I wonder if I could hook my, my Rode NTG3 into my phone and record in case of emergency. So I got this thing, put a 9 volt battery in there. I haven't tried it, so we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. Um, hook the road in here, like that. Hook the uh, smart thing in here, like that. So you just use the auto recorder. We're recording right now and I got nothing going on. So let's turn it on. Wow. And apparently I'm now recording using this. So let's turn up the vol- Whoa, look at that. So I got the volume here. I'm just going to tool it down a little bit. That would be about right, right about there. So apparently I can record using my Rode XLR jack or any XLR jack. My NTG3 is actually going to my phone. I think this might come in really handy if I were out somewhere and uh, somebody forgot a recorder or recorder broke or something, at least I would have some sort of backup. Anyway, the whole reason I did this, because I didn't believe it, and now I do. Okay, I don't know if that worked or didn't work, because I haven't listened to it yet, but if it does work, um, it's kind of legit. I mean, you take this, uh, take this thing and you throw it in your bag or you throw it in your box or whatever you use to carry your stuff around, and let's say something fails, and uh, you can just pull this out and plug it in your phone and uh, you got a backup. Uh, and you don't have to worry about, oh, I lost my Zoom or somebody ran over a car or giraffe ate it or something like that. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I just got to remember to turn the battery off. Now, remember when doing these reviews, I didn't really, oh, look at that. There's a headphone jack there. I didn't see that. Um, when doing these reviews, I don't really go into the build quality and it, uh, which is, this is really good and I don't go into how long the battery life is where it's 12 hours with a 9 volt battery but if you turn it off in between it's 16 hours and all that crap. Um, when I do these reviews I just want to show you something cool and say hey you might be able to use this. You now it's up to you to go out and do your research and check it out and see if it meets your needs. It's not hard you go look at the product and you read down on it. It tells you how long the battery life is and what it's made out of and maybe you read some reviews on it and then you go yeah I'd like that or you say nah I don't like that at all, but that's kind of like your job. I, I give you my opinion and what I think about this and whether it's useful, but really do your research before you just go off and buy something. Don't take my word for it. Put your eyeballs on it and, and check it out. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. So what you do is you just take this end here and you plug it in your phone into the, you know, here, here's a tip. Let me give you all a tip. Um, if you try and take this end and you try and plug it in your phone a number of times and it won't go in, um, there's a skill you need to develop, which is as follows. You take your phone like this, and you actually turn it 180 degrees, that's half a circle, 
And then you look and there's a little hole in the end and now you can put it in like that. It's the best tip ever.